Um, today we'll be talking about how to uh, return your Nexus 7 completely to stock. We'll be unrooting it and relocking the bootloader. And we'll make it like it was when it first came out of the box. Alright, so we've got our Nexus 7 here. Now, just so you know, uh, doing this of course will completely erase everything on your Nexus 7. Um, so. It's a good idea to make a backup and then take it to your, uh, or copy it over to your computer. I just made a Nexus 7 folder and then um, made a backup folder for that. So yeah, I just copied my backup over there and then I'm able to um, retrieve that anytime I need to. If you're needing to replace your Nexus 7 or anything like that and you're trying to avoid violating the terms of use, then this will enable you to do that. You'll be able to unroot, you'll be able to lock your bootloader, and then you'll be good to go. So make sure you do make a an Android backup, or at least drag all your folders over to your computer, uh, pictures of mom, all that good stuff, because this will erase everything. It won't be retrievable when we're done. All right, so first thing we're going to do is uh, going to pull up this website. This will also be in the description. This is uh, wugfresh.com. Um, I first found him on XDA Developers, and he, he just um, made this great toolkit. Uh, you're able to root your device. I have another video on that and uh, unlock the bootloader, but this video is strictly about unrooting and relocking the bootloader. All right, so you'll just go down to downloads and you'll click this first link here and I uh, download the toolkit, which I've already done. Um, it'll probably have you download some files and um, you'll need to select which version you're currently running for your Nexus 7. So I'll show you that screen real quick. Now currently, I am on uh, 4.2.1. I upgraded to that and then I rooted. So I would select Nexus 7 Wi-Fi because that's what mine is. I don't have 3G. And then I'm going to be on 4.2.1. Um, if you're not sure, and it tells you how to go to USB debugging, because the only way you're going to be able to do this is if USB debugging is enabled. Okay, I've got the Nexus 7 here where I don't have to hold it anymore, so I'm going to go to Apps. And if you watched my other video, you know that my cell phone has a focus problem, so I apologize for any focus issues here. Alright, and I'm going to go to Settings, and then all the way to the bottom to About Tablet if you haven't done this, and then you just tap Build Number at the very bottom of that screen seven times and that's going to give you developer options. So I'm going to go back one screen, go to developer options, and USD, USB debugging is right there, third check down. So make sure you do have that checked. Okay. Now, last time I did this, I did run into an issue where it wouldn't work correctly, and I can't remember what exactly that was. So we're going to try this again and see if I can get that issue to populate or if it just happens or if I can get it to work. Okay, so first thing we're going to click on here is flash stock plus unroot. Now we're going to select vices on and normal here at the bottom. Um, it's not soft bricked. There's no issues going on. We're not in a boot loop, so we're just going to say devices on and normal. Uh, now again, this will completely wipe your device. Goodbye pictures, goodbye files. This is going to get rid of everything. So be sure that uh, you did back up before this point. All right, then our, our options here are um, 
to go ahead and select the uh, Nakasi, <laughs> I don't know how to say that, grouper, Android 4.2.0. Now this is going to put you completely back to stock. Uh, the option is to automatically download plus extract the factory image selected above for me. So we're going to try that first. And this is going to take some time to download, so when it gets closer to 100%, I'll come back. Alright, so it looks like we're about, we're about 93%. Almost done, and let's see what it says here. This, I believe this is where I got the error last time, but we may not. It wasn't really an error, it just didn't unroot like it was supposed to. So I had to do it a different way. So it's downloading the uh, the stock image that you need. So that's good because you'll have that on your computer. Let's see what happens here. Okay, it says it was complete. Hash check should say match. Yep. All right, let's see what it says here. Okay, it's gone into the bootloader. Should be a black screen pop up here. Okay, flashing stock will completely reset your device, of course. We know that. And it did it. All right. Okay, um, I'll go ahead and tell you what happened to me earlier. Um, it didn't, if you're seeing this screen, it says sending bootloader, everything is working correctly. It is unrooting and everything's going fine. If you get to this next screen and it skips this, and it says give it like five, ten minutes to complete all this good stuff, then the image didn't do correctly. It, it, it happened to me once. So what I did is I just went to the depth my downloads, I dragged it over to a file that I could use, and when you're going to the flash stock plus and root button, there's an actual image to upgrade your own, I'm sorry, there's a button to upgrade your own image. So I just, I did that and it worked fine. So yeah, this is uh, working good. So we're in the um, bootloader right now. And the red letters at the bottom still say unlocked. Which All right, just waiting. Writing user data. Okay, says it was finished. This is the screen. Um, it skipped right to that for me um, one time. 
It says booting up freshly flash stock device. Now, if you're seeing that now, you're fine. But what I was saying is if it just skips right to this, then it didn't do correctly. All right, so the Nexus 7's rebooting. Go ahead and put it here. Nice squeaky chair. And on here, I'm just going to go ahead and press any key to exit. Now, assuming the operation was successful, of course, you'll need to go back here if you plan on doing anything else with your Nexus, with this Nexus 7, and see, I'm not on 4.2.1 anymore because we just flashed 4.2.0. So I'm going to go to Nexus 7 Wi-Fi tablet, and I'm running 4.2.0. Now, in order to unlock the bootloader at this point, I keep saying that, in order to lock the bootloader, we need to go back in and re-enable USB debugging. Okay. Go ahead and get connected to the internet here. All right, do I have a Google account? Yes, but I'm not worried about that right now because I'm just trying to show you guys how to do this. My name is D. Setup is complete. Yes, I know how to do all that. All right, so I'm going to go back to settings now. And then we're going to go all the way to the bottom about tablet. We need to reopen the developer option, so I'm going to tap build number seven times. Go back one screen. Developer options are now open. USB debugging option is there. Okay. And then we go back here. Now we're going to click OEM lock. After flashing stock, which we've already done that, use this to fully return to fact factory settings. Um, we've already done the flash stock plus on root, so we're good. So we're back on the bootloader screen. Okay, and if you look at the bottom of the screen, that now says locked for locked state. It says device should now be re should now be relocked, which it does. It's going to reboot, and if you notice at the bottom, there's no more unlock picture under Google. So we know it was done correctly. And then it's going to reboot and get you all set back up. Well, guys, that's it. Um, this will get you completely back to stock, get you unlocked and unrooted. <laughs> I keep saying that. It will get you locked and unrooted. And um, this way, if you need to repair your tablet or take it in for any kind of servicing or anything like that, uh, you'll be good to go and you won't be violating those terms of use. So appreciate you watching. Have a wonderful day, and we will see you next time.